What is going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. The first day of the conference is in the middle of everything. So right now it is the first day and it's actually 12.18 so I'm in the middle of the day and I had a break to make this video. Uh, I went to the VFO which is the company that uh, merged uh, Freedom Scientific, AI Squared and two companies, I can't remember their names right now. And they basically merged to make one company. Uh, it's been like that for like three years now. And uh, they talked about JAWS. Uh, it's the first thing I want to cover from the VFO meeting I had this morning. Because there's a lot of interesting stuff. We got an official confirmed leak. I don't even think he was supposed to release the information. And he did. So the first thing that he confirmed. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names. Confirmed that the Braille viewer, uh, as it's called, Currently there is one, but it's very basic. They're going to revamp it and you can essentially simulate Braille display on the screen. So, of course, it's just going to be the visual dots and stuff. But why is that important? Because if you're developing an application that is, uh, you know, surrounded around accessibility in Braille, the developer can see the information being displayed like if it was on a real braille display so there's no need to buy a braille display just to test it you know you can actually simulate a braille display he did not confirm that you can select sizes but i mean so far from my own knowledge it seems very obvious that you supposed to be able to select sizes so 16 cell 32 cell you know 48 64 you know it, it should be a possibility that you can actually select the size of the braille display that way you can test your data on multiple different sizes, you know, and different models. So if it's a, you know, Forkus 14, you can get, you know, the same, the same size as a Forkus 14. You know, it just, I don't know exactly how specific it's going to be. He just said that it's confirmed, but, you know, that's going to be interesting to see that. They did focus a lot on Braille. You know, when, when JAWS 2019 was mentioned, which they vaguely covered. It was kind of like, I don't want to touch a subject. You know, like, he, he knew all the features. He just wasn't allowed to say them, but he did slip that one. And um, so far, that's the information we have for JAWS 2019. One feature is officially out. The second thing is, JAWS 2019 will be released in September, early September. That is the goal. Um, can't wait. Testing out the betas. And uh, once JAWS 2019 comes out the updates for JAWS 2018 will slow down but you are supposed to get one update after confirmed anyway they say that there's supposed to be an update in the fourth quarter of 2018 before the release of JAWS uh, 2019 which I'm guessing is gonna be in February of 2019 hopefully uh, from what I read from the notes that they were pulling out it's going to be interesting, you know, they're definitely working on a lot of new keyboard commands and stuff. However, I'm excited because 2019's emphasis on Braille was immense, and there's a lot of things that still need improvement uh, when it comes to Braille and JAWS. Now, if you're at the NFB conference, uh, if you're here, they do have discounts. I think I took a picture of it. I'll pop it on the screen. And um, the discounts are like a hundred bucks for the license that like updates every time uh, 175 if you don't if you don't have a license at all so that's a pretty good deal versus 950 yeah um, definitely gonna take that opportunity uh, you know zoom text licenses for a hundred bucks so I, I, I mean that that's an obvious definitely gonna buy you know what I mean so, uh, you know, there's lots of things that we can expect for JAWS 2019 that I'm excited about. So this video is about JAWS 2019 and about the fact that there's lots of hopes um, for Freedom Scientific and JAWS to, uh, you know, get better and more bug fixes. They did talk about uh, compatibility with uh, Microsoft Edge. They said that they're working on it, so for hopefully for... JAWS 2019, he did say that they were working on the uh, Internet Explorer, not Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge compatibility. The, the, the reason why uh, Microsoft Edge and JAWS 2018 don't get along is because the way 
Microsoft Edge uh, interprets the internet is different than Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox. It's totally different uh, because there's some things that Microsoft did to be unique, but that whole uniqueness made it harder for uh, Freedom Scientific to adopt uh, JAWS for Microsoft Edge. It, I mean, it works kind of, but it, but there's still problems with it. Um, they did say that if that you know now uh, they talked about also the help thing for JAWS. I, for, I forget the exact name, but you basically do the JAWS the um, the JAWS command, uh, and then you do the question mark, and you should get to a screen where you can search up different topics about uh, keyboard commands and stuff. So. Uh, you know, there's definitely high hopes for uh, more Microsoft Edge integration in JAWS 2019 and um, better search results because it's already good in JAWS 2018 with the whole question mark thing. And now, if they're going to keep making it better, I see that uh, you know they're going to be making JAWS in 2019 perhaps a obvious buy. You know, if you're using Window Eyes, you know definitely. I would say discard it and go to JAWS because after you know Windows OS has been kind of lagging behind, JAWS is giving discount. And JAWS has discounts here at the conference and has um, more uh, uh, you know groups to learn more keyboard commands. They they have trainers uh, all over the states. They're trying to hire people that to do the training. They are merging with Ira. I believe to if 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 you're having a problem with um, JAWS, like it's it's not talking or or you know somebody just uh, completely muted your computer and left you in limbo where you can't use JAWS and you you know call up Ira, which is the company that does the glasses that have tech support kind of thing. Somebody that sees what you see through your glasses and they will guide you. And whatever you need, it's kind of like an on-star for your eyes. Um, if uh, if you ask Ira for uh, VFO support, VFO will actually give you back those minutes. So basically, Ira will take some sort of like tech support thing for VFO, which is interesting since so many people are walking around with Ira. So those are the updates that I have with uh, VFO. In uh, the conference, I mean, I can't wait. Jaws is definitely gonna be great in 2019. Um, 2019 is gonna be a great year for Jaws. Lots of new features, from what it seems, and um, we'll be reviewing it on Blind Power in September when it comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just as I enjoyed making it. Comment down below if you are at the NFB conference. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.